How's it going guys? Welcome back to this week's video. So this week, as I said last week, we are going to be trying to sort out these horrible headlights. And as you can see, it's just, it's horrible. I tried sorting them out a couple of months ago in the summer, but I've got a better way this time. So these are the tools that I'm going to be using to do these headlights. As you can see, we've got all the different grits, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, 1500 and 2000. Got some polish that obviously we'll use with the pad. I've also got a wall pad um, if I need it, but hopefully we should be able to get away with using that one. And that's going to go on our little sander. So, yeah, that is what we're going to do. I'll set you up on the tripod and uh, we'll get sanding. So I started off, guys, I sprayed the headlight down with some soapy water I got in a spray bottle. You'll probably see that again shortly. And then I just started working it in, going left to right, up and down. After I'd been over it once, I thought I'd obviously done enough. I wasn't happy with uh, where I'd actually sanded and that, so I did go over it again, and as, again, as you'll see in a minute. You can see at the front there, just it wasn't the best. So like I said, I went over it again, trying to go a bit slower um, and a bit more consistent, so overlapping my uh, passes a bit better. So that's not too bad I don't think, I think it's enough, I think I've gone down enough, I just need to sort of tidy up around here. Um, the second time I went through, I went through at a lot slower speed, I mean I've only got two settings on the actual mop itself, where's it gone? As you can see that actually says L and if I push it forward it changes to H which is high, um, so I had it on low but the first time I was like full throttle with it. You know, proper pressing down on it whereas the second time I was only kind of like half pace so yeah I think up here and that I think that's all okay and around here and the reason I've left this bit here is because it's like um, a bit of an edge and I don't want to wear through too far so, but yeah I'm going to tidy up this piece here and then uh, yeah we'll change the grits yeah probably should have put a cover over that or close the bonnet <laughs> Never mind, I've got to clean it anyway for when we wrap. So, 600 used, 800 now on there. Let's go again. Right, so that's after 1200. Um, I forgot to say I'd changed over. But yeah, that's after 1200. So, move on to 1500 next. And uh, I'll show you the result after that. So, I'm not sure if it will come across on the camera or not. But it is getting clearer. So, obviously, as you move up through the grits, it will get a lot clearer i think if you look back to when i did the 600 it was a lot more dull um whereas the the shine started to come back so got two more no i haven't i've got one more paper to go through and that's the 2000 grit so this is the 15 um 1500 i'll go through the 2000 and then we'll give it a polish so that is the 2000 done before i go over it with that stuff i'm actually going to go over it with some of this which as you can see is a super swell remover um it's obviously more abrasive than what that stuff is so yeah go over with this first and then we'll try it with the other stuff and i'll show you how it looks so i've just been over it with this ssr2 and it it is good but i think it can be better so i'm actually going to go over this bit again but by hand this time uh wet sand it again with probably drop down to 1500 uh, by hand and then see how that comes out so like i said guys i dropped down i can't see it but it's 1500 that one um and i've just gone over it all by hand and when i finished instead of obviously being circular motion like the the mop was i've gone straight as a like a final go over that way if there's any sort of more swirls in it anywhere that were caused from the machine then i'd see them um and obviously if that's the case then i would have dropped down back to a 1200 done the same again and gone back further if i needed to but looking into the actual plastic i can't see any so i think the 1500 was enough so i'm basically going to go over it the same again with the 1200 by hand um and then we'll try that ssr2 on it again again guys just to reiterate that's after the 2000 by hand um the purple one was the 2000 so done that by hand now again i went that way this time 
uh, with the one before I went that way. Obviously, if I go the same way, then I'll I will we'll only see the previous mark if there was any. So I've gone over it that way as a, a final pass. Um, and like I say, it all looks okay now. So I'm going to put some more of the Super Swell Remover on there. And I'll just put you on the tripod and show you that what I'm doing. My battery just died, so we'll have to charge that up and uh, have another go. So the battery charged, we've just been over um, the headlight with that polish and that polishing pad. Um, and it is, you know, a hundred times better than what it was. Uh, in person, I can still see a little bit of hazing, so I might go over it again. Um, but I might use, I've got a big DA there. It's not a DA, it's a rotary, sorry. I might go over it with that, and under the hat up there, I've got a foam pad. I might go over it just with that, um, just to see if we can get rid of that little bit of hazing, because the, that uh, mog fiber pad is better than the uh, foam one. It cuts in a bit better, so we'll give that a go. Okay, guys, so I think I've cracked it. <laughs> I went over it with the big pad and the polish, and then I went over it again with... The smaller one with that head on which is more of a like a, a finishing pad if you like and i think that's done it um i'm absolutely over the moon if i'm being honest you can just see there the uh end of the hex so much better you know i'm, I'm pretty happy with that the only problem is now i've got to do the other side and do this lower part the reason i only did this bit was so that i could sort of perfect uh my technique if you like and and what to use and as you can see all the different things that I've used so now that I know what to do I'm going to finish these off and uh, do the passenger one as well can't show you because the two wrapped wings are there because they were up on the wall um, but obviously they couldn't be there because I needed to film this side so yeah I'm going to finish these off clean this up and uh, that'll be it just giving you a quick look over the passenger one so you can sort of see how bad it is to start with um so yeah same thing as we did yesterday sand it gonna mask up around sand it polish it good results and that is done is that a hair i thought it was another scratch then no, it's just a hair so yeah that is how it's looking guys and i am really really over the moon with that i think that's really come out quite well there we have it guys that is me done for this video i hope you enjoyed the results as much as i did um i am so so happy they look so much better um, I really am really pleased with them if you want to give it a go yourself you, I'll put the um, link in the description for all the sanding discs I used it was only off uh, Amazon um, the polish you can pick up from different places Halfords you know pretty much anywhere like that and the polisher you can do this by hand it would be quite achievable by hand um, and I did actually at some point go over it by hand I think I said that earlier in the video um, so it can be done by hand, but for the polishing side, I do think you'll need a machine. Um, trying to do that by hand would be an absolute pig. So yeah, I'd suggest getting a getting hold of either a, a rotary, a DA, or a mini mini polisher sanding tool like, like that that I've got, and just just having an experiment, see what works for you. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you next time.